Hey guys, so first thing you need is an A5 piece of card. And then what you want to do is apply glue and glue onto any colored cardstock you want. And in this case, I chose mint. After I completed that, I cut out all the access pieces. Now grab some silver cardstock paper and I didn't really measure it out so I'm sorry but I guess I estimated, not guess, same thing anyway. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to round off the corners like so. Now make sure the flaps are on the bottom because you want to stick your silver car stock on top near the folded line now as you can see i kind of made a mistake and made it too wide so now i'm ruling it off and making it shorter and longer then i'm going to apply glue and glue it where i want it to be which in this case is going to be on top and make sure again the flaps are on the bottom Now I'm going to use some glittery black foam that I found from the dollar store and as you can see the piece that I got out is too big so I'm going to rule it off. Now once all the edges are straight I'm going to make two diagonal lines and I'm going to cut them out. Then I'm going to rule it off by connecting each corner like so. So you'll have a long trapezium shape. And now you want to apply that onto the flaps. Now instead of throwing out the axis pieces, I'm going to create a small rectangular box but not too small at least small enough to fit inside the silver cardstock paper and as you can see that's my result and of course i didn't really measure it again this is all freehand Now I'm going to use some white cardstock paper and I found something round which is um, some washi tape and now I'm going to fold the white cardstock in half and trace over the round object. Now I'll have two circles that are like the same and now I found some that now I found something smaller a smaller round object which I could trace around in the middle and ask the parent to help you cut out the center without cutting out the other edges so then you have two rings now you want to apply that to both sides of the black foam rectangular piece now i did want to throw away the scraps so i use the scraps to make a small rectangular square-ish box and I'm going to apply it and place it between both circles. Now I found some large rhinestones and I'm going to apply it to both bottom corners. Now this is optional but I found some black rhinestones and I'm going to use four of them and since they came like in a line of stickers I'm going to cut them individually 
and I'm going to place each one on each trapezium corner. Now I'm going to get another piece of white cardstock paper and I'm going to rule out a thin rectangular piece which is more longer than the black rectangular piece and this will be on top of the black rectangular piece. Now you want to glue that down like so. Now I found some smaller rhinestones and I'm going to apply it to each corner of the card. Now this is optional to use a ruler but I decided to use a ruler so when I write something onto the white rectangular piece it will be a nice straight line. Now I'm going to use a pencil first so then if I made a mistake I can rub it out and then now I found some thin black marker which I'm going to use to trace over the pencil lines. Now after this, you're pretty much done. Okay, I did an optional step and then became extra and added two semicircles onto the smaller white rectangular piece. And then after this, you're done. Mm -hmm.